I work for controls, so what I do, I, uh, I design electrical software or PLC software and then uh, and, and I do commissioning uh, after all. So um, I work on the, the whole cycle of the project. Uh, so, so basically when the project is, is completed by a mechanical department, then it goes to, um, it comes landed on my desk. And then I just look at it and try to uh, design electrical hardware, then write the software and then just go to site and commission it. The controls is like the, the, almost the last stage of the project. So when it's, when it's mechanically done and designed, then, then just we start our job. We are the, the people who, who make things moving. So as a controls engineer, it's very interesting because we're kind of like, like in the middle of a cycle of a project. We usually start in the mechan mechanical, start the design, then controls comes in and applies the, the, the electrical design to, to the mechanical portion and then uh, software comes in and kind of wraps it all together. So we're in the middle. So, so as a controls engineer, you get to work with mechanical engineering, kind of learn what mechanical is doing. You get to interface with the, with the software group and also project management. So as a controls engineer, you can really go deep into technology. So you can and eventually work in R&D and develop things, or you can um, lead people. So, so you have chances of leading by technology or leading processes and people. In day-to-day -day basis, uh, as a controls engineer, you will get to work mainly with your uh, mechanical engineer counterpart, but that doesn't mean that it ends there. Once the project gets turned over to us from sales, there will be a turnover meeting, you get to interact with this, this, the sales guy, the solution developer, and then once the project gets kicked off, um, you get in touch with uh, project management. So basically your project manager is their point of contact between our internal customers and our external customer. In addition, we as engineers, we work with different uh, CAD groups to make the design come together. And then ultimately, we will work with customer service just to make sure that they get all the right documentation to support the system after we are done.